today I thought it would be fun if we took a blast from the past, took a blast, a chapter, found a chapter. There was a chapter we did. Rewind. I did this video before basically, and now I have more to add to that list. So yeah, brain's going well today. Brain is working. Oh. We're gonna look at products that have different names in Ireland than they have in America. And we're gonna laugh at how they're different. I hope we'll laugh. Before I get into the video, do be sure to subscribe, otherwise you will be cursed with being stuck in 2020 forever. <gasps> that one might be a little bit too far, but subscribe, just in case. Today's video is sponsored by one of this channel's most loyal supporters, Raid Shadow Legends. The game itself has the same degree of integrity and is constantly evolving for newbies and ongoing players alike. With 500 champions to collect, each with their own skill trees and millions of artifacts to find and equip, no two champions will ever be the same. That makes for literally bajillions of ways to play, well trillions. Raid just released the Artifact Forge where you can save time and craft artifacts directly as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. And they're developing this cool looking Doom Tower as we speak which I'm super excited about. As you guys know I do love a list and one of my favourite things to do is go through the daily quests and tick off each thing. It keeps me on task and makes me feel accomplished, winning at life. Make sure your quick is using my link in the description. Every new player will get an exclusive welcome pack that contains 100,000 silver, one energy refill, 10 mystery shards and a free champion. Slasher. Ooh, look at him go. You'll find your extra rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So check it out because it's free and you'll be supporting a sponsor who has supported this little channel for a really long time. On with the video. Okay, what is this logo? Because in Ireland, we call that walls. In America, apparently you call it good humour. That's hilarious. I don't know why this heart brand has so many different names around the world, but it does. In fact, I think it might have a record for the most different names around the world. In Asia, it's called Quality Walls. In Bolivia, it's called Brazzlers. In Mexico, it's Holanda. In England, it's Walls, same as Ireland. And in the Philippines, it's called Selecta. If you're gonna have to come up with that many different names, why not just come up with a name that suits all of them? I don't know, probably some boring copyright thing, but yeah. Next up, and this really bothered me when I realized, you guys don't have Smarties in America. Well, you do, but they're not our Smarties. Your Smarties look like these. What's those? Those aren't Smarties in Ireland. These are Smarties in Ireland, and they're very, very delicious. They're made by Nestle, as far as I know, and they're just really good chocolate, and they just, when you put them in your mouth, they like, they, 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 you can, you do, you wait. They melt and it's yummy. I've seen some copies of our Smarties and they are not as good. They're like crappy candy, which is what I would equate these Smarties to. We do have these Smarties, are you confused yet? But we call them fizzers here. To be honest, fizzers are very unremarkable crappy candy. They're the kind of things you'd find in the bottom of your Halloween bag and they might just stay there till after Christmas when you inevitably just eat them on a whim or throw them out. Anyway, if you can source some Smarties and you've never had them before, I urge you to do so. Not a copy of them, the actual Smarties are Smarties. This next one, and I think we're in the right in Ireland because everywhere else in the world calls this place Esso or Mobile. In America, they call it Exxon. Why? I'm guessing something else was called Esso or Mobile, so that's probably the logical reason you had to do it, but oh my gosh. Of course, if we got your fuel prices, I would gladly go with that name because, God, petrol's expensive in Ireland. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? This next one you tried to make us change. You guys would call this Downey. No, that's Lenore. In the mid 90s, Downey tried to get all of Europe to call its product Downey, but we just said, no, that's Lenore. And everyone kept calling it Lenore. So they were like, all right, let's just have different names in Europe and America. I don't like the name Downey. I think Lenore is a nicer name. It's got a ugh oh sound, which just makes it sound linen-y, like linen. Downey, I don't know, it sounds harsh. D, D. What kind of letter is D, Diane? Okay, here's one that actually flips that whole theory upside down because I don't know why we didn't just change our name to your name. You would know this product as Mr. Clean and we know it as Flash. We did, however, have a jingle, I think, in the early noughties that went, Mr. Clean shines up teen. It's clean. What is up teen? 
Maybe I have the lyrics wrong. Hey Siri. What's the Mr. Clean jingle? Okay, I found this on the web for what's the M or clean jingle. Check it out. No, I don't know. Anyway, did you have that Mr. Clean jingle in the US or no? So I don't know why we call it Flash but still have the character of Mr. Clean from Procter & Gamble but uh, I think it wouldn't be that hard to change it to Mr. Clean because it'd be like changing McDonald's to Ronald McDonald's. It wouldn't be that big of a jump. But Flash is what we call it here because it's done in a flash. That's our new thing that we say here for Flash. Okay, this next one comes down to pure licensing stuff. So stick with me because licensing stuff is mm, kind of boring. Okay, so you know this sweet candy as Starburst, but we know it as Opal Fruits if we're over the age of like 10. But now we call it Starburst too. So Opal Fruit was first made in the United Kingdom and it was called Opal fruit, unsurprisingly. When it was brought over to the United States, it was felt that the name needed a little bit more razzle dazzle, and they called it Starburst. What you need a little razzle dazzle. Around that time, they said, geez, we're tired of having to do two separate campaigns for Europe and America, so let's just make Europe convert. And then we had to call them Starburst, but some of us still call them Opal fruits because no. Geez, that actually happened a long time ago. You know, I don't think we did start calling them Starburst until the noughties though, because I remember eating them in school and calling them Opal Fruits. So maybe it took a while to convert us all. I still call them Opal Fruits. Okay, this next one might go over your heads because apparently this product is not so popular in the United States. This is Flora, but you might know it as Promise. Fascinating fact, it is neither a butter or a margarine. It is a butter margarine substitute. It's really popular here in Ireland. People really like it and we call it Flora, but for some reason it didn't travel over there. You guys called it Promise. Promise would not work here. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's kind of a naff name and it very much feels like a dietary product, which does not necessarily sell that well here in Ireland. It's just, you guys have a lot of people into health and fitness, and while we do have some people into health and fitness, we like to delude ourselves that we're still getting the yummy thing, so it's called flora here. Like flowers, but not. And finally, the number one name change that will just ruin your day is this product right here. It's a cider, a cider. It's an Irish cider and we call it Bulmers. This Irish hard cider arrived on your shores in America in 1999 called Magners. See here in Ireland it's made by HP Bulmer but over there it's made by a different company CC Group. See in the intervening period of it traveling over to the United States it was no longer owned by Bulmers, the company. It became owned by a company called The CC Group and when they decided they wanted to trade Bulmers over in the United States and also in the United Kingdom they said no you can't call it after our dad, Daddy Bulmer. Uh, you have to change the name. So they decided to call it Magners. If you're over here in Ireland and you order a Magners, people are probably gonna know what you're talking about, but we call it Bulmers here. So hardcore Irish people, call it Bulmers, call it Bulmers if you wanna sound real Irish. And those are just a few little things that we call by different names. I actually went back and looked at my older video. It was really fun to see how I've changed in just a little period of time. Go check it out yourself if you're curious. Maybe you're not though. And that's it for today's video. Have a restful weekend. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. The other side. Bye. Whoa, you didn't even wait there. You were just like, I'm done. I'm done. Do you wanna come up? I don't know. I don't know why this bro I don't know why the heart. I don't know why this heart. Your smarties are these. Your smarties look like. Your, your smarties look like. I'm very conscious about my seat squeaking. When I want it to squeak, it doesn't though. You know this fruit? It's not a fruit. Okay, so you know this sweet as 
start. <laughs> I don't like the. I don't like the. Of course, if we got your fuel. Of course, if we got your fuel price. I'm guessing something. I'm guessing some. Hello, Chewy here. Guess what? It's treat time. I'm gonna go for a walk now that the video is done. I'm a ventriloquist. I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. That was me talking the whole time. I know. 